What's cracking, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another Monday here at the Honda Recap. I got a bunch of channels I actually want to talk about that I haven't before, so let's get in this. What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. If you're if this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. I really appreciate all of you guys who are back here again in premiere live with us tonight. How's it going, guys? How has your week been. Like I said, if this is your first time watching, basically what I'm trying to do here is go over everything that's gone on here on YouTube in the Hondaverse and kind of go over it into one cohesive little episode so that if you got work, school, life, friends, whatever you have going on, you can kind of come back here one night a week, catch up on what people are doing right here on YouTube and kind of stay along with the community and hang out with everybody right now. With that said, I wanted to kick this off with some Del Sol content and that is Solar Skate. So there she is, tucked up in the corner, trying to take up as little space as possible. Uh, has been able to go outside during the day last few days because it's been quite sunny, um, which is fortunate. I'm not too sure if it's going to stay that way. It might have to get tucked right up in the corner, but that's where these skates that I borrowed off of my uh, good friend Shaden come in really, really handy. So thanks for that, mate. Um, you may have seen it previously, although in my cramped garage, probably quite difficult to see. Um, all the filler work I'd already done within the garage. All I've been doing so far the last uh, three evenings is going over things again with this Dolphin Glaze, which is like a finishing filler. It's absolutely lovely to work with, actually. This is a really cool channel just starting right now. He's got some very cool stuff. I think he's out there in the UK. Obviously, he's got a right-hand drive Del Sol. He's got some dimples already cut in the front bumper support, a full cage, and a bunch of other goodies going on in the car right now, and he's getting it prepped for paint. I'm really excited for this because Del Sol content. I'm... I'm you know, I'm just going to throw that out there. That's mainly why I'm really excited for it. Aside from that, I think it's a really good channel. If you've been following on Instagram, he's got a big following there as well. So definitely check that out. All right, following that, we got AJ Import. So, I'm sure you probably figured it out by now. It's cold. Dressed like a freaking Eskimo right now. But the car is home. So now, the minute it gets warm again, the plan is to start taking everything out. Make a custom bracket for the shifter so I could use my standard H22 cables. Have a small oil leak coming from where the train is for the, the turbo. Um, we had to cut the roof a little bit just so we get the webbing so we could have everything bolted in and cleared. So, throttle body is fine. I wanted to throw this channel out there is because it's an all wheel drive CB Accord. No one's really doing that right now. And I'm really excited that somebody is in the latest video. He kind of went over all the stuff that he's trying to do, trying to get the shifter cables to work with everything in the transmission. He's got a fuel cell in the rear, and then he's going to get everything moving right now. I think all four wheels are actually moving all at the same time. Things are going well for this. I'm really excited for a CB build. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. So thanks for throwing this one out there. All right, next up we got Jay Integra. Yo! All right, so pretty much, <laughs> stop, stop, come on. Anyway, so we got the block right here, and you know, we just bought some brand new ARP headsets, cause we tried to use some used ones, but they didn't work, so, you know, world of story is, do not use, use. No. Come on. Ain't no cowboy. <laughs> this is a really cool build because I really like the EM1. The chassis itself is awesome and they're building an awesome B18 for it. As you can see in the clip, there's some parts going into it. The block is apart. They got everything getting refreshed. Pistons are going in. The rings are getting set. And a lot of work and, you know, TLC and elbow grease is getting put into this motor. Another new channel. Really want to see you guys succeed. You got a funny group of guys all helping out in the garage. And I like seeing friends just getting together for a bigger purpose so definitely check these guys out as well all right and the next up we got hollister garage so i'm back out in the garage i brought the car back in so that way i could finish it it has to put the bumper back on we also have to put the windshield wiper cowl on which is this little plastic piece right here but i also have to put the metal windshield wiper cowl 
uh, underneath so that way you can't see the header and stuff like that. Uh, Ryan's going to come over to help me just finish everything up and we're going to start the car again. When I started it the first time, uh, it was so cold outside, I think the header um, actually like shrunk slightly so the uh, there's a little bit of an exhaust leak or something, that's just what I'm guessing because it sounded like an exhaust leak. But after I let it warm up enough, it went away. So still kind of trying to figure out what that was. So we're going to give it one more start up, but we're going to let it warm up in here again first. So hopefully it was just a freak thing because I've never started the car in a cold temperature like this, especially because that windshield wiper cowl piece is out. Um, there was snow piled up on top, on top of the header. You may or may not have seen this guy in other videos as well, but I wanted to give a good shout out to this guy as well. He's got one of the coolest SIs out there, so I'm really happy that he's putting in a lot of effort right now. You can see in the latest video it's starting to snow, so he's got to take care of that stuff, but he's got a bunch of goodies going on the SI. I really love this platform and I'm really happy that people are starting to build them. They are getting quote unquote older. They're coming down in price and obviously they're just, they're great cars with the motors that came with the car. Obviously it's K-Series and it's one of the best K-Series you can actually get, whether it's a coupe or a four door, the chassis is awesome. So man, I'm really happy that you're putting in the effort and you're making videos. Keep doing them. All right, guys, with that said, I want to kick this off with a couple channels that we've already talked about in the past to kind of go over what's been going on in the Honda universe. And I want to start this off with Chris Sadowski. He is on a tangent trying to get the DA9 conversion done on the car. He got the firewall swapped. And in the latest video, you actually saw that he was able to get the engine bay painted. I actually thought he was going to go with like Tafeta White because I think that's what he used last time to actually paint his car. But he had some Captiva Blue left over from the Del Sol and he decided to let me kind of mix those up a little bit and then see where we end up. I think it was a really good shade of blue. The whole engine bay is Captiva, so that's really cool. Kind of like a throwback homage, I guess you would say, to the Del Sol. But at the same time, it definitely pops. Captiva does have a little bit of a sparkle to it. So I'm really excited and I'm pretty sure I've been following you on Instagram. The motor is probably in the car by now, so I'm really excited to see the new videos coming out. Next up, we got Boosted Boys. After, after the Cletus and Cars, Wago finally made boost taking it down the track and had a giant just no good explosion you know what i'm saying so took it back to the shop all the motors got taken apart brent started going over all the stuff that's going on inside the engine bay some crazy cracks in the sleeves the pistons just do not look like they held up but i think it was a stock k24 2 made close to like 600 horsepower you know these things are going to happen but wago is down it'll be back very soon i know it but i'm really happy that you guys were able to get it running on all four wheels getting it tuned and made it out there to Cletus and cars making some power down the drag strip. Following that, talking of tunes, we've got Dana Young Static with the all-wheel drive CRX out there at Red Zone hanging out with Antoine and a bunch of other people getting cars tuned. If you've been following along, you do know that the EJ, I believe, 6 Mugen sedan they had actually blew up on the dyno. And I'm fairly sure while Dana CRX was getting tuned, they were pulling the engine and putting the GSR that Young Static actually built a couple days ago or at least refreshed up into that car to actually get it back on the dyno making some reliable power so that car can still be functional the crx did make some power it's going to be really fun to see it with the all-wheel drive all put together because i believe at that point he made it front wheel drive you know to run on the dyno but really cool that you're out there at red zone putting down power in the crx hanging out with antoine and just making videos i love it man i can't wait to see that car actually at the strip and see what kind of times it puts down. Following that, we got DIY Mike. The boys are out there building a 500 horsepower, well, a projected 500 horsepower Chinese type eBay build where they want to use all components that came from like eBay or we know that they're made in China to kind of put them through their paces and see what is actually possible. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty interesting to see how many brands they are using and just kind of, you know, showing you like where things are made. Some things actually say made in China, some things aren't. That's fairly interesting to me, but they are are putting the head together in the latest video kind of did a good in-depth how to do that for at least for a b-series vtech head how to lap the valves go ahead and put the lmas and the rest of the assembly back in everything besides the cam so i'm sure the next installment will have a lot more stuff if they take the same time and effort they put into the head into the block things like that we'll get to see what is actually in the engine bay and, and what exactly is going to help them reach that 500 horsepower following that we got hunter tuned huge news hunter has kind of been mia for a little bit working on the mustang but at the same time he has been building and getting everything set up 
for his own garage. That's right, Hunter Tuned actually has a warehouse space, a garage space. I know the dyno is on its way. I know that cars are in there right now, and it's really awesome to know that Hunter has just been grinding for the past year with just one goal in mind, and that is to get a dyno, and he finally has one, and I just, I know that one day it's gonna make it in there, you know what I mean? So I'm super excited for that. I'm waiting for the video to drop, but it's really good. Hunter Tune. Awesome that you have your own garage. You're gonna start working not in your garage. You're gonna keep pushing this business forward. That's really awesome to see how far you've come since you started making videos. Following that, we got Bodie Vision with Project Pepto. The engine is out of the car and they started taking everything apart so they can actually see inside of the motor what's in there, what was in there, what was kind of making the whole thing go down. But while they're refreshing that and kind of getting everything together, they went out there at, I believe, JDM Orlando. If that's not the place, definitely correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's where you went. And you got a B20B, a P8R head version, and you have it in the car slapped on with the turbo kit because you're like, you know what? Why have this car and not actually get to drive it? So while the motor is out, the original one that was in it when you bought it is out getting refreshed. He decided to throw a turbo kit on a B20, make some fun power, get the car kind of moving around kind of get it to stretch his legs i know you want to test out the cantilever suspension on the car get all the kinks out that way so what better way than on some boost with the b20 tried and true stock block gang i'm really excited to see how far this thing goes next up we got steven ocasio who hasn't stopped changing little things on his car and shout out to the new intro to Steven Ocasio. So if you haven't been watching his videos, definitely check it out. Cool new intro. I'm happy to see that, man. Trying to move the vlogs in a different direction. I'm telling you right now, I, I still want to see those BMX vlogs, man. Yeah, I know you still have it in you, and I know you got some cool videos coming up, but I'm really excited for that. But back to the EK, new wheels with giant lip. The offset on these wheels are really, really awesome on the car, man. I'm really excited for you. You know what? You wanted to change things up, get in here getting kind of the summer stuff kind of lined up right now. So like I said, super excited for that. I know you want to put some more time into the paint after this past season with all the salt and the rain out there in New York. I don't think it's actually quit yet, but super excited for you, man. I can't say that enough. I can't wait for the new vlogs to start happening. Following that, we got Wyatt Sketchy DA also with an EK. A few different shades of gray with all the primer and everything else on the car. It's really awesome to see that you made your garage kind of like a makeshift paint booth and got a paint job done very, very well. I'd like to see more videos on how you did it and the whole setup and things like that, but I'm really excited that you gave us a little sneak peek of the motor you plan on building because you turned it around and there was all of these parts all over the workbench that is going to make a a lot of power so shout out to you man i'm really happy that you're throwing up videos again i can't wait till this car also makes it to the track all right guys and last but not least i'm bringing up ilker's garage one more time because this is part two of the k20a2 kind of refresh installment we have here it is one of the cleanest cars i've seen on the channel aside from the other track cars that they have it's really cool out there in turkey that they just keep grinding away it's one of those channels where i don't understand anything you guys are saying but the music is really good and i see the effort and the parts and all the stuff that you're actually doing doing on the car and I really love that. So if you guys haven't checked out Ilker's Garage, absolutely do so. Everybody's information is in the description below. Make sure you go over there, click on their link, head over to their page. If you're not subscribing, absolutely subscribe. Check out their content. These guys are putting in a lot of work and time and effort into all of these videos that they actually produce. All right, guys, with that said, that's it for this episode of the Honda Recap. Kind of a short one, kind of wanted to recap a lot of what's been going on this week. I've been busy. I'm actually trying to maybe find a way to make more videos on the Del Sol. I keep making recaps because I want to hang out with you guys every Monday night at 8 o'clock, so make sure you guys subscribe. But like I'm saying, I want to put in a lot more effort into my own car. I've seen it. VTech Club is actually coming up, so if you're following those guys, obviously check out Roadster Cup, VTech Club, all of these things are coming out. I think it's out there at Chuck Walla, maybe like five or six days or maybe 10 or 11 days. It's definitely coming up. So I'm really excited for that. But watching all of that stuff comes up really wants me to get, you know, things in gear, to literally things in gear so that my Del Sol actually gets better. So I kind of want to trade some time, possibly trade some recap time for Del Sol time. Try to figure that out. But like I said, guys, I wanted to come back here like normal every Monday night at eight o'clock. So make sure if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and that bell. So you're notified every Monday night at eight o'clock when we go live here on the Honda Vlogs YouTube channel. Definitely check out hondavlogs.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a shirt, a hoodie, a sticker, everything else you guys need to support the channel. I appreciate everybody that has already, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.